Hello, Cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share my thoughts on a dilemma, the dilemma of ethics. Now, obviously, breaking the law and engaging in illegal practices is wrong and unethical. But what about bending the law a little? If you were to just walk into a coffee shop and take three packets of sugar off the counter, then that would be considered stealing. But what about when you buy a coffee and take an extra packet to keep in your handbag or the glove box of the car or to put in the picnic basket? Or when you buy a coffee and take the sugar, even though you don't have sugar in your coffee, is that stealing? Is it unethical? Now, you may well say the cost is covered by the cost of the coffee and feel justified in taking those sugar packets. What would you do if you were given too much change at the checkout and realised it as soon as it was given to you? Would you just put that money in your purse and say nothing? Or would you point out the mistake and hand it back? Because after all, the checkout operator made the mistake, not you. They, you know, should have been paying more attention. They should have known how to count out the change, shouldn't they? How about when you're shopping for prices? Is it ethical to go from store to store asking for prices and playing each store off against each other to get that rock bottom price? It's a dilemma, isn't it? Now, I'm asking these questions because just recently, the internet has blown up over a story that asked if breaking off the broccoli stem before weighing it and then paying for it is theft. Oh boy, did it raise a kerfuffle. And oh boy, did it cause a lot of very strong feelings and opinions. And that is fine. Because right now in 2022 in Australia, we're allowed to have our own opinions and express them as long as we do it you know, respectfully, politely, courteously. But I want to know, what do you think is ethical and what is unethical about living the cheapskates way? To me, living the cheapskates way comes with responsibility. The responsibility to do my very best to live within our means, to be generous with our excess, to be able to um, maintain our lifestyle ethically, and to be a good role model to not just my family, but others in all things, including living honestly, morally and ethically. And for me, just for your information, not, bre not breaking the broccoli stems before weighing is the ethical thing to do. Although if you're really interested, again, just for your information, frozen broccoli florets are cheaper by the kilo than fresh broccoli just as nutritious and Hannah reckons they taste better and if you want to really really get cheap broccoli grow it because growing your own is cheaper still just saying folks another example I have is a recent insurance claim we had after an accident now it has taken months to settle months nearly six months and we tried always to get the insurance company to choose the cheaper option we would have been more than happy with the cheaper option for them they didn't they wouldn't and as a result the payout to us is almost exactly double what it could have been we don't feel guilty about that we tried and we tried and we tried to get them to take the cheaper option and the insurance company flat out said no. So ethically, we've done nothing wrong. We tried. But what we didn't do was claim the things covered by the policy that weren't actually damaged in the accident. We had um, a certain amount for personal belongings. Well, you know, a friend told me this week we were foolish to not do that because the insurance company wouldn't know that we didn't lose any personal belongings in the accident. We should have just claimed for the allowance, 
We paid for the policy, so we're entitled to it. Well, first off, no. If nothing was damaged, nothing was lost, then we're not entitled to the claim. And secondly, that is just straight out dishonest. I have a real issue with this sort of ethics. <laughs> we are not dishonest people and we don't want to be examples of dishonesty. And that's another reason, yet another reason, why insurance policies and premiums are so expensive. Blatant dishonesty, it's fraud at the very least. So I'm going to say it straight up. To claim for something that wasn't damaged is just plain dishonest. I know that we all, me included, gripe almost constantly about the rising costs, especially of insurance premiums. But do we ever stop to think that perhaps we are part of the reason the costs are rising by unethical cheapskating, by fraudulent claims, by being dishonest? Breaking the stems off the broccoli or taking the stems off the trust tomatoes or snapping the stems off the mushrooms or trying a grape or two to see which bunch is the sweetest is dishonest and it's stealing. And if you do those things, you are a thief, whether you believe it or not. And technically, the store can have you charged with stealing. Cheapskaters, at the end of the day, we have to account for the choices and the decisions we make, no matter how small and insignificant they may seem. Here's hoping we all make the right choices as we leave the cheapskates way. Get free, cashed up, laughing and ethically. Before I go, thank you so much for watching if you're already a subscriber to our channel, great. If you're not, click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognized more easily. And the more easy it is for people to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone. I'll see you next time.